Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going into debugging with our NeoVims. And to do this, we're going to be setting up a few plugins and doing a little bit of configuration. So the first plugin we're going to be setting up is the Mason plugin. We're going to be using Mason to help us install our debug adapters when we get set up. The next plugin we're going to be installing is the NVIM DAP. This is going to be our main debugging plugin and it's going to come with a few dependencies. We're going to be adding the Mason NVIM DAP plugin. This is also going to be used to help us install our debug adapters. We're going to be adding the NVIM DAP user interface. This is going to add a user interface to our application to make debugging super nice. And then we're going to be adding the NeoTest dependency at the end. And after you get your plugin set up, what you're going to need to do is first you want to call the require.mason setup. And then you're going to want to do the Mason NVIM DAP setup after that. It's actually important the order of operations here. When you're done with the setup calls, we're going to be setting up the DAP configurations for our specific language that we're going to be deep that we're going to be debugging. So first thing, we're going to set up a variable, a require DAP. Then I'm going to call the require UI setup command. Then we're going to be setting up the block for our specific configurations. Now this is an example for a configuration with C+. And depending on the language you're going to be using, this is going to be a little bit different for you. The NVIM DAP GitHub has a link to a whole bunch of different configurations depending on the language you want to use. So if I was using Go, I would probably use the configuration linked in the documentation right here. But for my example with C++, it's going to look something like this. We're going to be setting up two blocks here, one for the launch file, one for attaching the debugger. I'm going to be using the CPP tools. That's the debugging application that I've installed with Mason. If I open the Mason menu, we can see down here that I already have CPP tools installed. I can also use the Mason NVIM DAP plugin directly to ensure a specific debug adapter is installed and the configuration gets automatically set up. And then after I have my configuration set up, I have my debug adapter installed, require statements are there, plugins are all set up. And then when I'm finished the configuration, I'm just going to add a few of the key bindings that I'm going to be using throughout the debugging process. Stuff like toggle breakpoints, continue, step over, step into, and different key bindings for opening and closing my user interface. And once the configuration's set up, the plugins are set up, the key binds are set up, we should be ready to rock. So if I head over to my NeoVim into a project here, I'm just gonna open up. I'm just gonna open up one of the files here and set a breakpoint. So I'll just head here. I'm gonna toggle a breakpoint right there. I can open my user interface. I'm gonna build the application, just make sure everything's built, everything's okay with that. And then what I'm gonna do to actually start the process off is I'm gonna be launching the continue command, the DAP continue command. You'll notice at the bottom, it's gonna pop up a little a little choice prompt here. I'm going to choose launch file. It's going to ask for a path to the executable of the file that I just built previously. So I'm just going to point it to my build directory to the executable. I'm going to launch that. It's stopping at the breakpoint here. So if I actually just continue, we can see the application actually starts up. I'm going to just move this over here so we can see the debugger window still. And if I continue even further, Oops, I'm going to have to press this before I continue. If there's no breakpoint, it's going to pop up this little menu, but I can just can set to do nothing now, and that should pop up to my next breakpoint. And as we can see, the breakpoint I set up here, it stopped exactly where I set up the breakpoint. We can look on the left-hand side here. We can see some of the local variables that are set up. We can see the stack trace of sort of where I am in the application. And this little window here, the DAP stacks, is just showing like which breakpoint I have set up, the GUI on line 56. Now I haven't really been able to give this a full go through yet, but, but it seems like I got my debugging setup for C++ working just how I want it. 
So I'm just gonna have to play with this a little bit, see how it goes. But this should be a working example of how to use the debugger with NeoVim. And if you have any problems, feel free to hop into our Discord. And you can always check out my DOT files linked down below.